Yo, welcome back to Urban Street 420. I'm your host, 40. I'm about to work out, but I figured I'd record the first part of today's video, which is the comparison between 190 proof and 80 proof alcohol for an extraction for making green dragon or tincture, right? So let's get started. This is 12 and a half grams. Let's find out what the potency is. We're gonna take one of these bottles here. We're gonna put 10 milliliters of 99% alcohol in there. And we're gonna check it with our T-check, right? So this way we know what the starting point is. We could see you know, how well everything works out. I'm gonna decarb it all in the oven in a mason jar. And yeah. All right, now that we have 10 milliliters of alcohol, you, could, you saw, probably saw I spilled the first time, so I dumped it out. I started over to make sure we had 10, right? We're gonna open this up and we are going to turn on our scale and we're gonna weigh out between 100 and 200 milligrams, right? So, nothing too crazy. Let's see what that is. Almost there and this. Now we need to remember exactly what it was. So I've got a pen and paper to write down here and we have 124, okay? So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna pour this in there, okay? Turn off the scale and we have 124. Now we're gonna take this, we're gonna break it up a bit. We probably should have broke it up um, before I put the alcohol in, but uh, yeah, we're doing things backwards today. <laughs> All right, there we go. And we said it was 124, right? I should have wrote it down immediately. That's why I brought the pen and the paper. Anyways, so we're gonna shake this up for five minutes and we will be back when that's done and we will test it, baby. All right, so now we've shaken it for five minutes. Let's go ahead and grab another syringe and a filter. We are going to test this bad boy. Then, after I finish my workout, take care of a couple of things, we will finish this video and you guys will see the difference between extracting in 190 proof versus 80 proof. So, let's go ahead and open this puppy up. We're gonna turn the T-check on. We are going to draw some liquid. I'm gonna put the filter on. I'm gonna open up the tray. We're gonna drop in four or five drops. And I, net, I didn't set up the other camera for this because I have lots of T-Check videos. If you wanna watch this process more closely, go ahead and check out one of the links. But I have tons of uh, T-Check videos already. So I'm gonna put the top here on. We're gonna open up our phone, open up the app. And when you try to run your T-check, the first thing it does is it calibrates. So I just clicked to run a test. It's checking for the device. We're, using, we're actually, we are going to do a raw flour, right? Not decarbed. It says basically how much did we use? And I stopped the video to check. It was 124. My memory wasn't too horrible. <laughs> so let's do this. It was 124 milligrams, done. The temperature. Seventy-eight degrees. It is hot. <laughs> Flower type. Yep. THCA. Begin test. It's going to ask if the slot's empty. It is. After it does it does this calibration, you put it in the slot. It's going to give us what the THC percentage is of this flower, right? Uh, my thought is it's like between nineteen and twenty-one percent. So, but we'll so we'll see, huh? That is so strange. It says it was 14.6%. Uh, wow, that this tested quite low. But we're gonna save this, and now we know what this flower is testing at. I, I swear I've tested the same flower before at 19. So, anyway, 14.6%. We're gonna use that for our calculations later. I'm gonna take five grams, put it within 190 proof, five grams with the 80 proof, and we are gonna check what the final numbers are. I'll see you guys later. All right, so we're back. Oh, I finished my workout. I'm exhausted, yo, but let's do this video. Real quick, guys, I have a Patreon. It would be super appreciated if you sign up. It will help with the costs associated with the channel, uh, especially when I have 100 euro blunders. Anyway, <laughs> you don't have to, but if you'd be so inclined, it would be awesome. 
So yesterday, when I did this video, I forgot to label uh, the jars, right? And so when I started doing the test, I thought one jar was the other one, and it just, it wasn't professional enough, so I said, hey, let's redo it. So I'm gonna label this one, 190, right? And then I'm gonna label this other jar, 80. So this is the proof, right? Now, what uh, alcohol you use, it really depends on where you are, right? Probably the 190 proof brand that I'm using is maybe not available by you, or it is, it depends, right? So for example, in the States, Everclear is a popular option for 190 proof. And you're gonna see why you really wanna go for as high a proof as you can get. You're gonna see, right? So, we've got one jar here that says 190 on it, we've got one jar here that says 80. We're gonna fill each of them with 200 milliliters, which is what the size of this is, right? So, let's go ahead and we're gonna do the 80 first. Open this up. All right, basically to the top, right? So we're gonna close this, move it off to the side. Let's try to, I'm gonna put this here, hoping that it don't really spill any. And I didn't. That's amazing. <laughs> you guys know me, I like to spill. Not like, but it happens, right? All right, let's put the top back on here. It's labeled correctly. Let's grab a paper towel. Now, probably this is unnecessary, right? To clean out any of the 80 proof from here. I don't think it would really change the numbers, but pff, we're gonna do it anyway. We're trying to keep this as scientific as possible. We're gonna open up this jar, this is the 190, and we are going to take 200 milliliters of this. All right, so that's filled to the top. We're gonna move this off to the side. All right. So we're gonna take this and let's try not to spill again. <laughs> All right, put this over. Wow, that is definitely a good technique. So, all right, now that both of these are filled with 200 milliliters, we are going to weigh them on this scale here. Now I have another camera here. We'll open up the scale. We're gonna turn the scale on, right? Well, first we'll do this one. Now, another thing that I messed up with in the video yesterday is I decarbed 10.15 grams and it ended up being less than, uh, less than 10 grams after the decarb. So I suppose maybe there was some moisture, I don't know. And, but this time I decarbed a little over 12 grams, so we should be good to go. So I'm gonna put this on here. In fact, I'm gonna put four and a half grams in each first and make sure we still have enough, right? To go to five. So we're gonna put this right here. We're gonna tear this out. And now that it's teared out, we'll just start dropping in some cannabis, right? So right now we're reading 0.73. This is four grams. Let's put something smaller because we can't take away. That's 4.4. This is 4.4. Nine, seven, so something pretty small maybe will take us to five. Actually, I said this is 5.04. I said we were gonna put 4.5. I hope I didn't screw up again. This is 5.03. So I'm gonna move this off to the side and I'm gonna write on this piece of paper 5.03 and we're gonna aim to put 5.03 in the other one, right? So let's put the top on, turn it. This is the 80 proof. We're gonna put this on. We're gonna tear this out. Okay. And we're going to start breaking stuff up and putting it in there. So, that's 0.8. This is 5.02. So 0.01 difference. I don't wanna mess with it and try to get that 0.01 because maybe I don't get it, whatever, right? So I'm gonna close this puppy up. We're gonna move this out of the way. There's still a little bit of decarb weed in there and that is fine. Rather than trying to use it, it's more important to me that these are as close as possible, which they are. Off by a, a, a hundredth of a, a point is nothing, right? So I'm gonna close this up. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake these puppies for 10 minutes. I'm gonna attempt to do it in the one in each hand, it's gonna be super exhausting. I need to grab my phone to set a timer. And so I will fast forward this stuff in post and we will be back after I've shaken them for 10 minutes. Oh, all right. Oh my goodness. 
So I took two short little breaks. Oh, my forearms oh, are on fire right now. Number one, I did this yesterday. Number two, it just doesn't go good with working out. <laughs> so I'm going to add one more minute because I took two short breaks in there. And yeah. Oh. <laughs> what a workout, huh? No joke. My forearms are on fire. Uh, anyway, one of the things that you'll notice, let me put this in front of the other camera, you can look. Uh, one of the liquids is much clearer than the other in the sense that there's foaming happening on this one. You'll notice that the weed sits on top on this one, whereas this one, it floats to the bottom. And the difference is, uh, this is the 80 proof, which means it's 40% alcohol, it's 60% water. This is a 95% uh, alcohol, 5% water. So this is almost all alcohol, whereas this has quite a bit of water, which of course changes the interactions inside the, the jar with the, the cannabis and so forth, right? So just another quick shake. <sighs> Oof, my forearms, yo. Anyways, I recommend just doing one of these at a time maybe and having a friend there so you can like take a break. So we're gonna take two syringes. These are one milliliter uh, syringes. And the reason we're taking two is this way we don't contaminate the two. I've got two filters left, perfect. So we're gonna open this up. We're gonna take the two filters out. Each one of these is gonna get a filter. Now we're gonna test one and after we test it, I have to go wash the tray and come back. So first things first, let's test the 80 proof, right? So I'm gonna bring the T-check over here. I'm gonna bring the tray right here. I'm gonna open this up, right? We can move this out of the way. And we are gonna open this. Then you're gonna say to yourself, wait, why aren't you straining it? I will. <laughs> we don't have to strain it for the test because all I do is pull the liquid from inside here. And if it takes any material, no problem. That's what the filter's for, right? So let's take some out, put this here. Perfect. Now we have to take my phone, turn on a uh, Bluetooth, right? If I could reach the top. Then after turning on the Bluetooth, let's launch the app. Where is it? There it is, T-Check. Let's turn this puppy on. All right, and first what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bottom tray, which I think is this one, and we are gonna drop five drops, four drops on here, four or five drops. So let's see, this is one, two, three, four. That's probably fine, huh? So we're gonna rest that right there. We're gonna take this, put the tray top on. There we go. And now we're gonna click on run test on our phone. It sees the T-check, we'll move this right here. And right now it says it's checking the device. I did update the firmware yesterday. It gave me the thing saying, hey, update your firmware, right? I did. So we're doing decarb flour infusion, selecting alcohol. We need to know the temperature. I'm gonna take this right here. This is one of those uh, laser thermometer thingies. And it says it's 77.7 degrees in the house. So I'm gonna put 78 on the phone. It feels like 100 degrees. Ugh. So after we put 78, we're gonna say begin test. It says make sure the slot's empty because it's gonna calibrate. So we're not gonna to touch anything right now. We're gonna take one paper towel to wipe some of the sweat. I mean, this was a workout, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna move the syringe and the filter there. We're gonna put this on over the top. And we will strain it after this video, and when we strain it, uh, after we do that, I'm probably going to evaporate everything and then just use, uh, make FICO out of these two. Because I would never make tincture this week. <laughs> All right, so it says it's uh, done its little check, its calibration. We're going to put the tray in. We're going to say OK. And let's see what it says, huh? This is, remember, this is the 80 proof, right? And again, it doesn't matter if what brand uh, you use, whether, and in fact, whether you use vodka or rum or whatever, you could use other liquors too. Thing is with vodka, it's clear, easy, whatever. Um, but after you see the results of this, I don't think you will use regular vodka unless you have no other choice, right? Now remember, I shook these for the same amount of time. We haven't done a uh, look at scientific edibles to see what it should be, but this says it's 2.2 milligrams per milliliter, right? And this is the 80 proof. So I'm just gonna write this here. 80 proof is 2.2. 
because it's using the same cannabis, the same amount, the same amount of shaking, etc. Uh, if I shook one hand and I counted 10 times, I shook the other 10 times. I did them at the same time. I mean, this looks very sexual. It's not. <laughs> uh, if I put one on top of the other or I switched, I, I tried to make it as even as possible. The amount of alcohol in there is even. The amount of cannabis that's in there is even. So we're seeing 2.2 milligrams per milliliter is the extraction from this five grams of cannabis. Now, I'm not sure what it should be, right? But I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video. I'll be back, I need to clean the tray. So I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna turn off the tea check and I'll be back in a second. All right, so we cleaned it. Guys, really important. When you clean the tea check, what this, uh, this tray or whatever, use a microfiber cloth. Do not use paper towels to wipe the inside. You could scratch it. And if you scratch the tray, then the tea check is worthless, huh? Because the tray is calibrated to the tea check. That's what they say. So like, for example, if you take a tray from another device, it won't work when you swap it and put it in another. I don't know what the reason for that is. That's, I mean, it seems a bit strange, but anyway, there's probably a reason. So there we go, we've got the first one, 2.2 uh, yeah, milligrams per milliliter. We're just shake this for one second. We're gonna open it up, right? We are going to take out, I don't know, some liquid. And for sure we don't even need this much, right? There we go, we're gonna put the filter on. And now we are gonna try to take, let's turn this puppy on. We're gonna try to take four drops here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, perfect. We're gonna move this off to the side. We're gonna cover this puppy up. We're gonna put the top on and then we need to open the app again, right? All right, so checking the device, decarb flour infusion, alcohol. Let's check the temperature once again. It says 76 now. <laughs> Interesting, interessante, all right, 76. Go ahead and press done. We're gonna say begin test. It asks if it's empty because it's gonna do the calibration. And yes, let's see. What do you guys think? If you're watching the video, what do you think the difference will be? If we got 2.2 milligrams for the 80 proof, this is more than double the proof. So you think it will be more than double the reading? I don't know, right? Well, I mean, I do know, but what do you think? Get Now's the time to guess, baby, before you actually know the answer. And if you're right, give yourself on the back and smoke an extra joint tonight. <laughs> Just kidding, that's not medical advice. <laughs> Don't do what I do. Or, yeah, anyway, it says insert the tray into the device. We're gonna say okay. And now the countdown begins. Let's see if you guys are right. What did you guess? I'm gonna guess and I'm gonna say 5.3 or 5.4. I do think it's gonna be double at least. I'm showing you guys on the other camera. I can't see, what is it? 4.9, well, uh, yes, more than double, right? Uh, so, we got 4.9, let's write that down so I make sure I put the right thing in the video, from the 190 proof. So what is this telling you guys? The reality is it really does matter which type of alcohol you use. A lot of people struggle to get the right uh, type of alcohol for this situation. But yeah, you wanna make sure you get as high of a proof as you can. Uh, there is, uh, I believe there exists even 200 proof, right? Or 100% ethanol alcohol, but it has to be made for consumption if you're using it for tincture. If you're gonna use this just to make RSO, for example, and you evaporate all of the alcohol off, then it doesn't matter if it's for consumption, but I would be careful. I mean, this is drinkable uh, alcohol, right? This particular brand, I don't even, it just says original DA, but this brand is drinkable. I mean, I would never drink 95% alcohol. I mean, you would just ruin your throat if you could even handle it, you know what I mean? Guys, I hope this cleared up any confusion. Uh, can you make tincture with 80 proof alcohol? Absolutely. Will it be subpar? Absolutely. Now here's another thing, right? That 80 proof uh, vodka will do a better job than vegetable glycerin, 
That's another thing to consider. I was thinking we could do more of these tests, but guys, please, I need a couple of people to uh, join the Patreon so that it could offset some of these costs, but I'm happy to do more of these tests to show you guys different situations or things you might encounter if you're curious and so forth. Leave it in the comments what you think. Guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. You know the deal, baby. <laughs> Till next time, I'm out.